Welcome to Kids Church. We are learning about the life of Jesus. Last week, we learned about when he was went out into the wilderness and was tempted for 40 days. Now he's back and he is going to find his disciples. So let's read a story. Jesus was ready to begin what he had come to do. But first, he needed a special group of friends to travel with him, to help him, and to learn from him. They would be his disciples. Who would he choose? You might be surprised. Simon, Andrew, James, and John were fishermen. Jesus met them down by the water one day when they were putting their fishing nets away. Let's go fishing, Jesus said. We've been out all day. We've been out all night, they told him, and we didn't catch a single fish. But because Jesus had asked them to, they dropped their nets back into the water and straight away something amazing happened. The fishermen could hardly believe their eyes. Their nets were so full of fish that their boats began to sink. This was impossible. How had Jesus done this? They could tell there was something very different about this man. Come with me, Jesus said. I want you to be my disciples. I have a very different job for you. So the fishermen left everything by the water and followed him. Another day, Jesus met a tax collector called Matthew. Now, most people did not like the tax collectors at all. Their job was to collect money from everyone, but often they took too much and kept the extra money for themselves. Everyone knew that this was not fair. Matthew was a tax collector like all the others, but Jesus knew that and loved him anyway. He had something better for him. Come with me, Jesus said, and be my disciple. So Matthew did. Matthew was so happy that he threw a huge party at his house and invited Jesus and all his tax collector friends too. But not everyone was pleased about Jesus' new friends. Why was he spending time with those types of people? Because, said Jesus, these are the people who need me, the ones I have come to help. Jesus wasn't doing things the way anyone expected. He made friends with all kinds of people. He cared about everyone because they were all God's children, and he loved them. Jesus chose 12 disciples. For the next few years, they would follow him wherever he went, near and far, learning, teaching, helping, and healing. Jesus' disciples weren't perfect. Sometimes they made mistakes, and sometimes they didn't understand everything he was saying. But Jesus is forgiving and patient and can work with anyone. He had come to change the world and show God's love to everyone. And he had chosen this unusual collection of people to help him. Jesus came back from the desert and he picked 12 people. One, 12. 12 people that he was going to be friends with. And he was going to pass everything that he had on to those people. Now, he still taught everybody and he still told them about God, but those 12 people, he was passing on everything. So they were called his disciples. Do you know what a disciple is? Mm -hmm. A disciple is when a person decides that they're gonna pass everything down onto you. So if you are discipling Isabel, your little sister, you're leading her you're teaching her the ways you're showing her how to live and we need to be like jesus by always having a chain of disciples so that means mom disciples someone who's younger and then that person disciples someone who's younger and younger and younger and older people disciple me and it's this big long chain of teaching people how to live and teaching them how to be like jesus and that's how jesus wants us to be as followers we're always passing things down and we're growing and we do that from the generations before us and passing that down to the generations under us. So Jesus is all about relationship. God loves us and he loves you. And you know what's super cool is Jesus chose you. He chose all of you guys. He picked you out and he went after you and he loves you and he finds you just like he found the disciples wherever you are whether they're fishing or walking to school jesus finds you and he's like hey i love you and i have good things and i want to teach you these things and then he wants you to go and teach those things to other people so then we're always being like fishermen like fishermen of men
and we work better together, right? When we're all together, we can work for good and we can do the things that God has planned. So we love God and one way that we can show our love and appreciation for all that he has done for us is through worship. Let's do a song. We love you guys and we know that God is going to make a difference in your life and that's why we're here teaching you and loving you and we're praying for you always. So let's pray. Dear Jesus, thank you for all that you've done. Thank you that you are still choosing us today. Thank you that you love us and that you are always seeking for us. Help us to find those who are going to teach you 
to us and help us to find others to teach about you. Help us to do discipleship well and learn more about who you are, how much you love us. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen. Bye. Bye.